Hey everyone, Peter from Fudo here. We've got another round of microgrants, but before I discuss those really cool projects, I want to just talk about a couple things. For one, GrayJ Desktop has been updated, so hopefully it's not as buggy. Also, we've got Fudo t-shirts for sale on our merch store, which you can find at merch.fudo.org. But most importantly, I just want to thank all of you for the overwhelming support on the latest video. The video we made with Andreas Kling about his project, The Ladybird Browser, is now our most watched video on this channel. But people are doing more than just watching the video. Andreas has told us that he has seen a large influx of donations to the project as a result of the video. So I just want to say to those of you out there, thank you so much for supporting these cool projects. All right, now let's get into it. First, we've given a grant to PeerGoss. PeerGoss is a peer-to-peer -peer platform that combines decentralized storage with end-to-end -end encryption, allowing users to securely store and share files without relying on centralized servers. The system uses IPFS, Interplanetary File System, as its underlying technology enabling true peer-to-peer -peer data exchange while maintaining privacy through client-side encryption. At the moment, the PeerGoss team is currently developing a plugin for Image, our self-hosted photo management solution, which will allow users to securely back up their photo libraries with PeerGoss's file system. We are really excited to see where the project goes forward from here. Next up, we've given a grant to Knitter. Knitter is an alternative, privacy-focused front-end for Twitter that allows users to browse the platform without JavaScript, cookies, or tracking, all while maintaining a clean, ad-free interface. It enhances privacy by acting as a proxy between users and Twitter servers, preventing direct trafficking and data collection that occurs on the official site. The service also offers features like RSS feeds for Twitter accounts, making it easier to follow accounts without needing the official app or website. Additionally, it doesn't require users to create accounts or log in to view public content, allowing for anonymous browsing of Twitter's public timeline. We use it all the time, and we're glad to see it back up and working again after a long period of downtime. We've also given a grant to Pangolin. Pangolin is a powerful tunneled mesh reverse proxy server developed by Fasorial that provides secure access to services across distributed networks. It implements robust identity and access control mechanisms, allowing users to securely expose and connect to services regardless of their underlying network topology. Pangolin utilizes end-to-end -end encryption and strong authentication protocols to ensure data remains protected in transit, while its mesh networking capabilities create a seamless connection fabric between services. The project excels at providing granular permission controls, allowing administrators to precisely define who can access specific resources while maintaining comprehensive audit logs of all access attempts. It's overall just a very cool project, and it acts roughly as an alternative for Cloudflare tunnels. Finally, we've given a grant to Navidrome. Navidrome is a modern self-hosted music server and streaming service that provides a personal alternative to commercial platforms like Spotify. It allows users to organize, browse, and stream their own music collection from anywhere through a web interface or compatible mobile apps. Similar to how Image offers self-hosted photo management, Navidrome provides the same concept, but for music libraries, giving users complete control over their audio collection while offering features like playlists, favorites, and artist biographies. Navidrome stands out, though, with its lightweight design, running efficiently even on hardware like Raspberry Pis, while supporting a wide range of audio formats. Well, that's it for our main microgrants. As always, links to the projects are in the description below. And if you have suggestions on who we should give a microgrant to next, leave a comment or send us an email. We'll see you all in the next video.